The Oak Fire burning near Yosemite National Park has grown into one of the state's largest wildfires this year. The fire has burned more than 14,000 acres since it started on Friday near the town of Mid Pines. Already, flames have destroyed at least 10 buildings, damaging five others. There is still no containment tonight. And as you can imagine, there are many evacuation orders and road closures in place. Now, here's a look at some of those areas uh, under those evacuation orders and warnings in Mariposa County. The fire is burning along Highway 140 and Karstens Road. That is near Mid Pines. Both Highway 140 and Highway 49 are closed in that area. Fox 40's Rowena Shaddix joins us live from Mariposa and the fairgrounds there. And, Row, you've been on the ground there all day. What have you seen? Well, Eric, here at the fairgrounds, you can see is nice and calm. There's barely any wind down here, but as you get higher up in elevation, closer to the fire, those flames are very active and they look really big. As you watch these flames burn, there is zero containment on the Oak Fire, which has burned more than 14,000 acres. Chris Ford, her husband and his 80 year old father got in their truck and took off from their home on Triangle Road, literally with what they had on. No packing, no extra clothes. And we just had to leave. The fire ravaged right through Triangle Road and the surrounding areas, leaving much devastation. Everything around us burned everything and we were fine you guys are okay we're 100 percent fine good and your house is still standing our house is still standing others were not all around us our friend's house next across the road burned right up to their deck and stopped by the grace of god that's i was going to say that is god that, that, is, god. that is god Kelly Edwards of Ponderosa Basin filled up gas containers so he would be ready if his area gets evacuated. He already moved his cats to safety at a nearby elementary school. 11 cats. Hard to leave them. Yep. What's your oldest cat? Uh, 10 years old and then the rest of them are younger. Wow. And they're all, they're all good. Part of the family. Off Highway 140 along Triangle Road, hand crews worked on fire lines, making sure the flames didn't cross over. Well, these fire crews are arriving from Los Angeles County. The one directly behind me came about five hours ago from Manteca, but with a 24 hour shift, they said it's a long day ahead. As helicopters continue to attack the flames from above, dozers dig deep on a mountainside, creating a barrier line of dirt, separating it from all the brush. But at a distance, a large fire front continues to threaten neighborhoods at a distance. This fire is burning in multiple fronts right now. This is one of the more active parts, and obviously you can see over my shoulder that there's a lot of available fuel. So what we're seeing is all that fuel being consumed by the fire. The good thing is right now is the inversion is keeping fire activity somewhat low, but as soon as that inversion layer lifts and the sunshine comes out, then we're going to see this activity over my shoulder start to really pick up. And as the battalion chief said, there are many heads to this fire. This behind me happens to be one of them. Chief Heggie says in the hours ahead going into the night, crews will continue to create and fortify control lines, removing fuel from the fire's path. And that inversion layer has lifted as the battalion chief anticipated, which means it is much hotter. We certainly feel it, and those flames now will be even more active. Reporting here from the fairgrounds, Rowena Shaddix, Fox 40 News. Great images there, Row, and always talking to people affected. Great job out there. Stay safe.